everyone this uh, tutorial will be really easy and uh, shorter than the other two because uh, we will use the previous model and uh, I will show you how to introduce plasticity in your model this is uh, probably the most simple way to introduce uh, a, the plasticity um, behavior to your material I hope that all, uh, all of you know about any uh, everything about elasticity and plasticity but uh, I want just to tell you that if you perform for example a RIX analysis uh, on, a, on your structure without using plasticity when your materials um, achieve uh, stresses that uh, in, uh, in reality cause you um, displacement and stress in the plas plastic range your analysis uh, will not be accurate and uh, realistic and in many cases as uh, happened in the other uh, tutorial the, your solution doesn't uh, doesn't continue continue because uh, the structure does not uh, uh, start to deform uh, under uh, in a plus in a plastic um, range. To do this, you have to tell to Abacus that the material has plastic properties, and to do this, you have just to introduce plastic. To do this, you click on mechanical, plasticity, and then plastic. And what you have to do? You have to achieve these um, some points of the plastic curve, and uh, you have to take the plastic strain and the yield strength, the yield stress. Sorry. So for for each strain, you have to know the relative stress. In this case, the first is the plastic strain zero, so this is the yield of your material, the yield point, and then you uh, have to add many, many points as you can. More points you will use, uh, more realistic will be your simulation. In this case, I take my these points from uh, a, a site named as uh, Matweb. I write here. Matweb.com, or anyway, you you can search on Google Matweb, and this is a very nice site because uh, the, there is a lot of data, a lot of data data sheet for everything, from uh, aluminium to special alloy, and also if you do um, CF, um, CFD analysis, there are.